it feels like an inflection point, not just for Cincinnati, but for you as you're leaving Cincinnati after what I think is the best three, four year period in its history. What was it like to be on a team that kept winning over and over again and playing really good football against really good football teams who's continually overlooked and undervalued? Um, it was, you know, it was a blessing, you know, coming in Cincinnati, uh, when I committed here, they were four and eight. So like coming in my first year, I was not expected to win 11 games. Like that was, that was really crazy. And then I think we won in 11 the next year and then nine and one the next year in the COVID year. And then this year we just lost our final game of the year. So it was, it was an unbelievable experience. And, you know, I don't think I could have dreamed, dreamed all that happened happening, but, um, yeah, for sure. Like you get with all that winning, like you got to, you got to keep in consideration, like winning is hard. And like all these teams that we play, like play against, like they're, they're on scholarship too. They get, they're on the same level as us. So like, you can't, you, you can't take for granted winning a game ever. And like, that's really what they had to get on us this year. Cause we had went on a little bit of a slump where we were like beating teams that, that people would say are inferior to us in our conference and only beating them and just kind of scraping by them. Uh, and our coach is just like, you know, like, hey, as long as we keep winning, like that's, that's all that matters at the end of the day. Um, cause it's hard. It's winning's hard and teams are putting together, they're throwing everything at us. You know, they were, they were putting the whole game plan together. Like this was their season. This was their Super Bowl. was playing us. I'm with you. Now I need to just preface this by saying I'm the guy that wants to see the playoff expanded to 16 teams. I'm also mm. the guy that says, I can't fault. I call you guys kids. You're grown men. I can't fault players for beating the people in front of them. And if you can do that over and over again, I believe you should earn an opportunity to play for the belt, right? And y'all yeah. finished last season as the only undefeated team in the regular season. I got to ask, do you have feelings about the college football playoff and whether or not it should be expanded, even as Cincinnati was the first group of five team to receive an invitation to the 14 playoff? Um, I think I think with us getting the invite, uh, that showed like that they were considered a group of five teams. Um, so I think I was like, I don't know necessarily if they would need to expand it. I think it would be cool if they expanded it, but I also understand like that it, it's just going to put added games on the guys and the season's already pretty long at it, at it as what it is like 15 games for the, for the, if you go to the national championship. Um, so like making that 16, like, I, I don't know. It, it depends. And maybe, maybe they could take out the, Cause I don't think, I don't think they should take out like the conference championship games and stuff like that. But I feel like that, that was what would end up happening if they expanded the playoffs. No, I can get there. I can certainly get there with, uh, especially this understanding about what you guys have to do already. I'd also just yeah. point to NFL. You're going to play 17 games, it's 15 games to win a national championship. I feel like there's some, some leeway in there that everybody can come to a solution that they yeah. like, but I, I sincerely appreciate you giving me some insight into what you're feeling sure. as far as the games you have to play, but also the games you want to play. So to yeah. that end, I need to ask, when you saw that Notre Dame was on the schedule, right, and you knew that you had an opportunity to play in the college football playoff, how much of the team was rooting for Notre Dame to be undefeated when y'all got a chance to play against them? Um, I don't know. I, I think maybe like after, like after we had beat them, I'm sure like it was like, oh, like liked them to keep keep winning because they did. And they were it was nice because like I knew the committee was they couldn't they literally couldn't put them above us because like <laughs> they were if they would have done that, they would have been the committee would have been crucified. Like it would have been it would have been brutal. So like they they couldn't have put them above us and they were always just ranked right behind us. So it kind of it kind of gave me a little bit of comfort. But yeah, before we played them, like I was I was more so like focused on like Indiana, you know, and. And like the games, like the now, like who we were playing, but like once we after we played them, like you know, you you'd hear it be like, oh, like Notre Dame won, like oh, that's that's good, like keep keep boosting our best win. Don't you worry about dunking on a committee. I I got them. I I can get to that rim, and and they yeah. they know me in these streets. Like when it comes yeah. to Cincinnati, Coastal Carolina, I don't care. I want to see the playoff expanded because I like seeing you guys play football. I like seeing winning sure. football played. Um, For sure. Another guy that had a great season, in particular a great game at Notre Dame, but just throughout the season is Desmond Ritter. Would you be interested in playing with Desmond in the NFL? 
Oh, I'd love to play with Desmond. I mean, that's just that would just be a great advantage, I think, for both of us, like coming in and just having that that comfort with with one another already. Um, so yeah, I, I think it would be great. You know, it'd be great to have a guy on the team that I'm already tight with like that. So yeah, I would love it. I'm going to point out that Joe Burrow plays with Jamar Chase. It seems to be going pretty well, right? We're seeing mm-hmm. more quarterback wide receiver pairings that are in college coming to the NFL. And it seems like it's paying immediate dividends. Jalen Hurts and Devontae Smith. We're getting Tua Tonga below and Jalen Waddle. Why not Desmond Ritter and Alec Pierce? Why not? So I'm an Oklahoma fan. I went to the University of Tulsa. So I had a rooting interest in Tulsa versus Cincinnati. Mm-hmm. I know how I felt at the end of that game. How did you <laughs> feel at the end of that game? Relieved. I, was, I felt relieved. That was, that's probably the one time I'd say I felt relieved at the end of a football game. But, yeah, that, that ending was crazy. And, like, for me, everything – just felt so out of my control because it was all the defense and they did, they just did a great job stepping up and, and like, I mean, that was, that was crazy. I don't know. I wonder if that's ever happened. And like they had what six plays maybe from inside the two yard line and we stopped them every time. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 It was six. (laughs) Yeah. And it was from inside the two. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. (laughs) Thanks for watching this video and remember hit that subscribe button. So you don't miss any other videos on the number one ranked show YouTube channel.